When I was in high school, my coach, we were, we were playing a rivalry team, and my coach told me, he said, uh, we was winning halftime, and he said he really needs somebody to make a big play, to make a big play that we needed, and we needed bad. So we came out at halftime, and we needed a big stop. We needed a turnover right now, and I was playing corner at the time, and they threw a fade to my side. And when they threw the fade, they threw the ball, I jumped up in there, and I picked it, and I, I was so I was so excited, like I, I never felt like that way. Like it just to this day that's why I'm smiling so hard because it makes me feel good and like that's what changed the game of football. Like not just I got excited, my teammates got excited, my coach got excited, everybody in the stands got excited. So it was just a great feeling all around. I mean football means to me, I mean it's it's more than just a game and what you see on Saturday nights or Saturday uh, during the daytime, it's more than that. It's about what we do in the weight room, it's what we do in the film study, it's what we do like as a team, just having a team bonding. It's about just building a brotherhood. Like I know that everybody in that locker room that I have been with or left or came with, like I know that I have some type of connection with that person because when I need something like later on down the line in the future, I know that those are my brothers and they were always there with me because we, we sweated and we cried and it was blood, sweat and everything we put out there on that field to get to a certain goal and to reach a certain thing in life. step back but you know I always felt like for me going through like you know things that I went through in my life especially like some of the injuries that I had you know with my hand you're able to use those and, and gain more wisdom from it and not even that but the, the knowledge and, and everything that you continue to do after that point it helps a lot of people and you have a testimony now you're gonna persevere through it and be stronger and, you know, that's just that's Trey Sprague you know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah. everything happened for a reason like my dad said I mean yeah. I'm just, you know what I'm saying, blessed and I'm just still alive because I could have been gone, you know what I'm saying? But it is a blessing, you know, and I do have a testimony now, so I just, I just want to take my testimony like you do and just tell it to the world, tell it to everybody else. Yeah. Everybody else can know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know, that's what's so cool about football. It's just like it's a family, and you realize it when, it, when you fall, you know, like when you're at your lowest. But no matter what, you still have that support system. You still have that camaraderie with those group of people because it's a bond and it's for life. You know what I'm saying? That's powerful, man. That's you know that's something that I feel like I have with you. That I have with a lot of the guys that I played there at Incarnate Word with for those three years that I did play. Because those are three years that you can you know and nobody can take that away from you. That's an experience that nobody can take away, uh, no matter what. You know, it's it's bigger than just the game itself. It's bigger than just you know Saturdays and running out of the tunnel. It's bigger than touchdowns. It's bigger than stats. I mean, well, I was, I was out, I was out with my teammates. We all went to a club one night, and uh, they got into a little altercation with somebody. And the dude, you know what I'm saying? The dude, the dude they were about to fight or whatever. He just, he just ran up on my teammate, you know, trying to fight him or whatever. And I didn't, I know I said I always protect my teammates. I'm always gonna be there for them. So I was, I was trying to you know, be there for my teammates. And then another dude just started shooting the gun in the air, and that's when I was just like, well, I don't want no part of this no more. So I tried to I grab my teammate. And I told him, man, let's just go inside. We can forget about all this, you know what I'm saying? We can forget this dude and move on. And as I was uh, going inside, another dude shot. He fired a gun towards the uh, towards the club as we were walking in. And I turned around, and I got hit. But I, I really didn't feel it, to be honest, you know what I'm saying? I, it hit me and then it just like it shot. And then some girl just like screamed. She's like, oh my gosh, she got shot. And then when I looked down and I seen like a little red dot on my shirt, it finally it finally hit. It hit me that I, I got I got shot and I you know, my friends grabbed me, my teammates, my teammates and my roommates, they grabbed me and they, they set me. I asked them I told them I wanted to sit down. 
and I was just sitting there and I was just thinking like, man, I just got shot. Like, I, I honestly don't know what to do, what's going on. And then they just didn't, and I wanted to close my eyes and they didn't let me close my eyes. They just told me to stay awake and wait till the paramedics came. And then when the paramedics came, after that, I just, I don't, I don't remember nothing, I blacked out. And next thing you know, I woke up Sunday morning. It's all good now, you know, I'm getting better every day. And it's just a blessing that I didn't leave this world. I'm still here today and I'm still, I'm up walking and everything. They're still looking for him, and they, they, they had like, the detective came up here and I looked at pictures and stuff, but I honestly don't remember the guy that actually shot towards the club. Mm -hmm. I just remember the guy face that shot in the air, but I mean, none of the pictures came up. But they said they're still looking, and they said that, uh, they said that people, you know what I'm saying, they said that uh, young people talk, so they said that they're just trying to wait, they're going to wait on it, and people start talking, and then it's going to come up, and it's going to come out. So... If you could say something to him, what would you say? I would say, I'd just say, why, why, why would you do something like that? But I mean, God bless you. I mean, like, God's gonna deal with you. So, I mean, I, I don't have nothing for you. I would, I would, I wouldn't retaliate. I just know that when it's all said and done, the man upstairs is gonna deal with you. So it'll be cool. I really got shot like standing inside the doorway. I was over here inside the doorway and uh, I was standing right here and I got shot. Right there and uh, I don't know, like I hit it just, it just kind of shocked me a little bit. Still here though, yeah, especially these two. You know what I'm saying? People, people that I always been with, my best friend. He, he, ain't, he always there. And then Castillo, the OG, that's the mentor. That's the person I went to, man. That's, that's the person who I know I can tell about anything. He don't judge me for nothing. It's a life changing spot right now. It's just a spot that I'm never gonna forget ever in life. Cause that's something that it really did change my life. It got me closer. Got me closer to God. I never needed him this bad ever in life, and I needed him when he was dead and he didn't fail. So I appreciate him for that. I, I don't know. It's just too much. Too much.